Hi, you are trying to find out a master's or PhD research program um, and then you were confused with the department, the schools, faculty, topics. There are many different uh, department faculty uh, in many different universities and the research institute. So you, you were confused that, okay, so should I choose the topic or should I choose the department or should I choose a particular disease? Um, so if you are confused in that way as well, uh, then this is your video. Hi, I'm Golam Ezwaldin and I'm a life scientist, a pharmacologist by training and I work in a private pharmaceutical research industry. So stay with this video and uh, we'll try to figure out this confusion. So you completed your undergraduation. Uh, with a small research experience or uh, a master's degree with a research experience or non-research experience. You are in your phase in your life or career uh, that you are thinking of doing a master's or PhD research program. Whether you are an international student from Asian countries or Middle East or European countries or uh, North America, you uh, either want to go another country for any reason or you want to stay within your country and try to do your PhD research. And in this scenario, you are kind of confused that, okay, um, I'm trying to get into uh, research, PhD research that I want to do, uh, this particular principal investigator, PI, or uh, professor, he is working on a cardiovascular disease or diabetes or neurodegenerative disorder or a cancer uh, uh, solution. Um, but I'm more interested to find out this protein extraction process or uh, the how the protein stability works in the in the in any kind of like a disease biology right so so th that's the confusion it starts so like where to look for what kind of labs I'm, I'm looking what kind of topics I'm looking and is it even good for me so this is coming down to you uh, rather than uh, the institute or country or uh, the research lab. You came from a life science background. That, that's the whole topic of this uh, channel. Um, I, I came from this life science background. And uh, if you're a pharmacist, medical science uh, student or um, a student from biology, like uh, basic science, uh, and then now you are trying to look for a basic science question and you want to master your uh, knowledge uh, techniques in this field and you want to gain that degree, then you are basically looking for a basic question, not targeting any disease, not targeting uh, any drug development, not targeting any, any kind of like a simulation technology using AI or something like that. You are basically looking at the molecular level uh, some kind of mechanis mechanism or the protein or DNA or RNA or gene me mechanism or how it works or like there are th these are called a group of uh, topics these are called basic science research so this basic science research um, nece not necessarily particularly in a particular department it this can be a lab uh, focusing on a particular topic um, of a basic science protein or gene or um, simulation technology or something like that uh, this this can be anywhere in any department uh, related to the life science so this can be a department of biochemistry this can be a department cardiovascular department or this can be a department of pharmacology uh, a school of pharmacy anywhere uh, so this is kind of like a basic science now there's an obvious question you may ask that Okay, so if I do a basic research where I'm exploring a post-transcriptional modification pathway and troubleshooting a, a specific a, like um, ELISA assay or enzymatic assay or something like that, right? And uh, you are asking yourself like what kind of job it can give. That's a totally different topic and I'll try to make another video um, on that or maybe a bunch of videos on that. Um, but before we go there, any kind of topic or field that you love and you are master in or you 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 nailed in um, it can give you a successful career that's for sure um, that's also another topic but um, for now try to understand the field of research so you are more interested in the basic science asking a basic question of the biology or disease biology then you're looking for this basic labs these labs often 
um, you won't see they're focusing on a particular disease they are more focusing on the basic science for example uh, most of the labs that i worked on they had a disease focus however um, um, one of the labs that i i have worked they're focused on the mitochondrial biology um, which means is like mitochondrial um, dynamics, mitochondrial function, mitochondria, how the molecular mechanism works there, and all this a small fraction thing. And this story can fit in any kind of disease. So depending on what kind of research grant is there, depending on what kind of research facilities are there, this concept can uh, fit into any kind of disease areas, right? So this is kind of like a more basic science research. On the other hand, I knew someone who was interested uh, in her family there is a neurodegenerative disorder and she really wanted to do something to with uh, parkinson's disease or alzheimer's disease something like that and she was looking for specifically lab that is focusing on neurodegenerative disorder or alzheimer disorder or something like that right so this is more focused on the disease model there are other research areas as well. So if you go to a, a school of pharmacy, you will see uh, there is a pharmaceutical technology, there is a pharmaceutical science, um, there is more chemistry focus. It's a department of chemistry. If you go, there is a biochemistry, uh, there are chemistry, I'm sure who, like the uh, scientist and researcher works in the chemistry department, there is also a huge branch out. So there is no specific path that anyone can tell you that, oh, you should do a PhD in biochemistry or you should do a PhD in cardiovascular disease or you should do a PhD in obesity or something like that. So this is more about you, what you like, what kind of disease you're focusing. So for example, metabolic disorder as a whole, uh, it can cover chronic kidney disease, liver disease, diabetes, obesity, you know, aging and all these things. And then on the other hand, neurodegenerative disorder is more focused on brain. Um, and then cancer is another field. And then th there is also health science research where you work on the chemistry of the drug, drug formulation, drug uh, uh, formulation technology. And then there is also pharmaceutical science where you work more analytical chemistry and all these things. Uh, I think the drug development used to take like 20 years, uh, 25 years, even 15 years, 30 years to develop one drug. Nowadays, the, this timeline is very short. Like it came down even maybe 10 years or less than that. So how that happens, like there are a lot of a lot more technology now, um, simulation technology and AI technology, and there are a lot of labs they, they are focusing on this kind of uh, technology-based research in the health science as well. So you can choose that as well. So don't get confused with the department. Sometime you might find, for example, for me, uh, in my journey, my first uh, master's uh, research program was in pharmaceutical analysis. However, the department that I worked, the department uh, name was Marine Biotechnology. And also uh, one of the postdocs I have done in the University of Alberta, the department of, department of Pediatrics. However, I didn't do anything with the pediatrics. Uh, so it was a more clinical focused department, but I did some cardiovascular disease. So that's a totally different thing. Um, so this is, uh, so especially in North America, um, a, even in Australia uh, and then Europe, uh, there are a lot of different uh, different department names and the schools that can be confusing with your research uh, so don't get confused there so focus on your topic that you want to uh, do your research or the area of research uh, as a whole that you want to focus on and then approach those labs for your master's or phd program hope that makes it more clear obviously there is an obvious question that okay if i pick this kind of research area what kind of jobs i can approach uh, so that's a obviously not a single video topic but i'll try to make multiple videos in the future uh, to uh, give you an idea that how a specific research topic can lead you to a specific industry job or academic job see you next time bye